Hey everyone, this is Mr. Z and welcome to the train project tutorial. This is the first part of the train, the train body itself, which is a bit of a time consuming part, but we're going to kind of break it down and work through this process. To the side here we have the train, the two sides of it, the front and the back of it, as well as all the dimensions, and that's where I'm going to be pulling off my numbers. I'll be kind of crossing them out as we go, so let's go ahead and get started with this process. I think the best way to approach making the train is to create a block and then carve the train out of it. So I'm going to start a sketch, I'm going to select a plane, it doesn't matter what plane you select, and then I'm going to draw out a rectangle. Now this rectangle needs to be able to hold the entirety of the train. So the width of this is 2 inches, so I'm going to use the dimension tool up here, click on the line, click there, and then type 2 and press enter and I'll zoom out with the scroll wheel. And then the height of the train isn't specified. So for now, I'm going to type in the number, let's go ahead and just type in three, okay? Because I don't know, or I can't at least figure out what that height is. If you think you can, go ahead and try to figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude it out a total of 5.5 units. So I should cross out these numbers when I use them. Extruded 5.5 units and then press OK. Let's start by making the front of the train. I'll start a sketch at the front. I'll click on that. And I'm going to draw out this profile. So it's like a line. Or I guess I instead of using a line, let's just use a rectangle. Starting at this corner here, I'm going to draw out a rectangle, okay, to that corner. And then I'm just going to draw out a circle. I want it to be in the center. So if you follow this rectangle, your yellow dot should eventually turn green. That means you're in the center. And I'll go up from there and I'll just draw out a circle. Alternatively, you could just dimension to the side of the part, to the center of the circle, and make sure that it's one. Because if it's one, that means you're in the center. Okay, so what information do we have about this circle? We know the radius is 0.75, but it's pointing at an incomplete circle. So it's pointing at an arc. So if we're using a circle, Inventor uses diameters for circles, so we have to double that number. So we're gonna make it 1.5, okay? Then we also need to know the height of that. It's 1.38 units from the bottom of the train to the center of the circle is 1.38. And then the height of the rectangle is 0.88. So I'm just kind of marking those. So as we move through this, you can kind of see my process. So from there to there is 1.38. And then the height of the rectangle is 0.88 units. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. We also have three circles that we're going to put in there. And it doesn't quite matter where the circles show up. I'm just going to draw one down here, draw one over here, and draw one over here. Okay. We know this center circle should be in the center, so I'm just going to make sure it's at one inch. And then the smaller circles, this one's at 0.375 from the center, and then this is at 1.625 from the edge, or not the center, from the edge. So let's now put those in. From here to here is 0.375. And then from here to here is 1.625. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. The height of this for the bottom ones is 0.125, and then for the very top one is 0.625. So now we can dimension those. It's from the bottom to the center is 0.125. I'll repeat the process for this one. And then the, the top one here is 0.625. And whenever possible, you always want to get your dimensions off the part. I know I don't do it all the time, but I try to. Uh, it's just if it gets too cluttered, I might avoid that. Okay, so we got the three circles. We do need to specify their diameter. They're 0.125 and they cut in 0.125 deep. So let's dimension these three circles. It's 
So that's 0.125, this 0.125, and so is the last one. And remember from practice, it always takes three dimensions to fully lock down a circle, the diameter and the x direction and the y direction. Okay, that's looking really good now. I think we have everything we need. So we're gonna trim off a couple parts. We're gonna trim off this line and then this line over here, okay? Reason why is we just wanna extrude out this center part. So now we are going to be able to do that. And I'll finish sketch. And when I said extrude, I meant cut. Okay, now let's cut this. So I'm gonna go to extrude. I'm gonna click on this profile uh, as well as the three circles. Make sure you get that circle. Sometimes it doesn't all go. So we want to extrude it, but we don't want to extrude it. We want it to kind of cut back. And we want it to cut back all the way up to this 1.75 line. So if I did 5.5 minus 1.75, and I did some math in my head, that's going to turn out to be 3.75. Okay? So that's how far I want to go. So I'm going to switch it to the other direction. It's cutting and I'm gonna do 3.75. So it cuts it, but it's the inverse of what I want. I wanna keep this part, I wanna remove the top part over here. So that's actually called an intersect cut. And this here is extrude, you know, it would extrude it. This here is cut. This third one here is called intersect. So if you select it, you'll notice that it only uh, leaves this portion over here. It doesn't do the rest. So that's actually what we want. I'll press OK, and now that's been made. Let's get those circles back real quick. So I'm going to open up Extrusion 2, go to my Sketch 2, right-click, and turn the visibility back on. And then I'm going to extrude out these three circles. It's sometimes a little hard to click on them. I'm going to switch to Cut, and then I'm going to specify the distance to be 0.125 inches, and I'll press OK. And then I'll turn off Sketch 2. Cool. The downside though is that we lost the back of our train, but let's just flip it to the other side and build it from there. So I'm going to start a sketch on the back side of the train and I'm going to put back that rectangle. You know, we had this rectangle here uh, and we said, and I drew it from the corner, that this was two inches and this is three inches over here. Okay. Now let's figure out the height so we can actually just draw this thing incorrectly. Uh, we don't really have a lot of information about the height. If I'm looking at the back of the train, this picture over here, I know that the bottom to the center of this circle is 0.375. And then it says there's a line. If you follow this line, this arc here has a radius of 2.35 and that the center of this arc is actually the center of that circle. So we can actually use that information to create our own circle, which would create the height of the train. So to begin, let's draw that little circle. I'm going to find that center line. So make sure this is in the center. And this has a diameter of 0.25. And from the bottom to here is 0.375. That's the height, OK? Now, the radius of 2.35, the only way we could have a radius of 2.35 is if we had a circle of diameter 4.7 because we double this number to get the diameter. So starting at the center of that last circle, we're going to draw out, and I'm going to type in 4.7, press Enter, and what we've just done is created the top profile of the train. This arc here is that arc up there, because it starts at the center. So that's looking pretty good. We're going to trim off some of these lines. So I'm going to use the Trim tool, and let's trim off this line, and I just want it to be one fluid shape, and these lines over here. So if you do that, hopefully you have this side profile. And I'll press Finish Sketch. I will extrude this, this, as well as this. And we're going to go out a total of 1.75 units, because that's kind of what we specified before. 1.75, press OK. And now we got that train. Now, unfortunately, we lost our circle. But that's just a quick Start 2D sketch, find the center of your train and just draw it out again. So 0.25 and then it is just from here to here 0.375. Okay. Always make sure it's in the center. If you're not sure, it doesn't hurt to throw in a dimension. Mine was already centered though, so 
it doesn't impact me. But let's cut this out. So extrude, switch to cut, and then this is going to go in 0.5 units. And I'll press OK. Great, that's looking pretty good. Let's make this C shape now and these two circles in the side of our train. So I'm going to start the sketch over here. And this C shape, it's kind of difficult to make, but it's just a circle that got cut halfway and then they extended it out with lines. So I'm going to draw a circle somewhere on here. Okay, just draw a circle. The radius of this circle is 0.5, so that means this circle has a diameter of 1. And the distance from the center of that circle to the edge of the train or the back of the train is 0.25. So from here to here is 0.25. And then from the bottom to the center is 1.75. Bottom to the center is 1.75. Cool. So that's our circle. It's fully locked in place. So I'm just going to use the line tool and at the very top I'm going to extend out a straight line and at the very bottom I'm going to extend out a straight line and then I'm just going to close these two lines off. Okay. I'll use the trim tool to trim off the lines I don't need and if you look now we got that C shape profile there. So I'm going to finish the sketch, extrude, click on that, switch it to cut, and extend it out the entire way of the train and press OK. So now we got that C cut in there and let's cross off all the dimensions that we've taken care of. So we've done that, 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 we haven't done that yet and we've done the, the stuff in the back. So let's put in these two circles. Now there's a weird notation to them. 1 4th 20 UNC through times 2. What this means is that these are threaded holes and they are a quarter inch and they go through the entire part. There's two of them. So all we need to do is create the starting point for those holes and then we'll use the hole tool to just drill them out. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this profile. I'm going to put down a point here and a point here and I did that by clicking on the point tool. And then we're going to say where these, point go, these points go. So the first one, they're both half an inch in height. So from here to that point is a half an inch. Uh, that will be the same for this one. And then the distance for this from the edge is one inch. And the other one is 4.5 inches from this back edge here. Okay, I'll put this outside the part. Okay, so now those are all in place. I'm going to finish the sketch. And chances are they've changed what this tool looks like for you. Oh, no, actually it probably looks like this still. Okay, so let's thread a hole. What we'll need to do is this has no threads on it. It's a simple hole. This is a clearance hole if you want space between it. But what we want is a tapped hole. That means it's going to have threads on it. So I'm going to go tapped hole. It's going to open up this bunch of stuff we need. The main thing I want you to focus on is the designation. Because the size of the hole is 0.25. It says it over here. It's a quarter inch. So if it's 1 4th 20 UNC, which it is, 1 4th 20 UNC, 20 threads per inch, that's good. And we want it to have threads throughout the entire train because it's through times 2. So this is only putting threads on half an inch, but the train thickness is 2. So we're going to change this number here to 2 inches and then press OK. And if you do that and you zoom in, hopefully you'll notice that there are now threads in that train. Okay. So everything's done. The last thing we need is the opening for the smokestack. So I'm going to start a sketch on this round part over here. But there's one problem. A 2D sketch cannot be started on a curved surface. If I try to click on the curved surface, it won't allow me. So what we need to do is actually look at the back of the train, or the bottom of the train, click and hold your sketch so you can like move it up and down. And I want you to move it up. To the top of the train. We want it to be perfectly, you know, on top of this circle over here. So if we ask ourselves, well, how high is the top of that circle? It's the height to the center plus the radius. So here I'm going to write negative 1.38 plus, or I guess minus in this case because it's negative, minus 0.75. Okay? And if you do that, you should notice that that plane is directly above the circle, which it is. So I'm going to press OK. It will start a sketch, or if it doesn't, just start a sketch on the plane. And now I could draw out that circle. I'm going to find the center, 
draw out a circle. It has a diameter of 0.5. Okay, so 0.5 diameter. And then the distance from the front of the train to the center of that is a total of 0.88 inches. Uh, and if it wasn't centered, just make sure, whoops, make sure that it is centered. Okay, so apparently mine wasn't, so it's a good thing I put in that one there. So that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna finish that, extrude out that hole. It's extruding first, make sure it's at cut. So switch it to cut. Make sure the direction is pointing down also, or else it won't uh, cut through the train. And then it's getting cut in a total of 0.25 units. So do that, press OK. And then to turn off the plane, right click on it, whoops, near the edge, right click on it and go to visibility. Okay, and that's it. That is the train body. We did complete these other dimensions here that I didn't cross out. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you for the next video. Peace.